the piece that, that really we're just starting to kick off when we have a meeting this week, um, and I will be handing that to you, and we've been partnering on that, um, is really the whole um, real close look at equity, bias, um, racial equity and bias. And we're, we're kicking that meeting off. Um, we, as many schools, um, have to take a deep look at our practices. Um, that's part of who we are um, as educators. We always look deep, we reflect. Um, I know that I'm excited we're kicking that off. Um, it'll be my last day. Um, I know that you have some ideas and some background in where we're going. Um, and I know a big piece of that is listening to all the voices. So um, we have not had this conversation at all yet about some of your ideas. So I'm sure that the community would love to hear more. Sure, sure. I think this is uh, a rare opportunity um, for, for schools and for the nation uh, to take um, a reflective look at systemic racism. Uh, I'm inspired by, by what I see, which, which is uh, people from, from all different backgrounds uh, protesting uh, in a peaceful way for, for change and for systemic change. Uh, and that is something that I think is long overdue. You know, recent events, I think, I think mobilized uh, this country, and, and, and I, I am very inspired by what I see. Uh, how that relates to Garrison, uh, I, I believe we have work to do, and we also have an opportunity right now, and I think we need to embrace that opportunity. I thank you for, for initiating uh, a, a task force again with, with um, you know, different perspectives uh, from our school community, and there's important work ahead. I think one of the main things we need to do first is to listen and learn and educate ourselves about what it means to be a person of color in this country. Um, many of us are aware of the history, but the history is taught from perspectives um, and usually from the perspective of the people who are in power or in control um, I was a history major. Uh, we talked about that off camera a bit, and, and I, I am a big believer in teaching history from a variety of perspectives. So I, I can't wait to get to the, the work, you know, after the initial uh, work of the task force. I think the long-term work is really delving into our curriculum uh, in the area of, of social studies from K through eight, and to make sure that we are educating our children in a way that they understand uh, um, systemic racism, that they understand equity in this country, and they understand the history and, and why are things today the way they are? How did that come to be? Um, looking at areas like ELA, uh, you and I did have spoken mm -hmm. about uh, literature that needs to be closely examined. Um, we talked about you know, books that, that children read, the selection of books in, in our library, in the classrooms. It has to be diverse. And we need books with protagonists that represent a diversity of, of people. And, and I think those types of things are, are something that I look forward to engaging the staff and the community in. And uh, that's exciting work. And, and I look forward to it.